suck this right over here so no one tricks. Okay, both of you guys are mine. I have Mensa puzzles. What kind of puzzles? Mensa. What's Mensa? The High IQ Society. Okay. Are you part of it? Do you want to see Maybe I should try out. I actually have the IQ limit for Mensa is 150. Okay. I'm, I'm actually pretty smart for my age now. I can describe how the telephone works. When, what kind of characters are you guys into? Anime? Anything else? No, manga's over. What got you guys into um, drawing? Um, Siren. No, you didn't tell me drawing. Well, for me, Naruto. No, actually, uh, I'll, I'll tell not you really exactly anything, what we're gonna I do. guess. We got a few things going on here. Just interested? The story on TV and all that? Hmm? We got to you were just interested in it? Everyone's going to get a shot at introducing you to everyone and also showing some of your artwork. And she's going to record this. We have a YouTube page. Oh, we put a ball video and stuff in the, the classes so people who aren't here can see what's going on inside the class. What's your name? Where are you? I'm Maya. No, I'm Maya. What got you into the drawing? Um, anime. Quantum. Yeah. Quantum connected. Alright, so can we start down here? Um, Robin. Just introduce yourselves and just show us a little bit of your artwork as you do. Um, here's something I drew last month. Okay. Is that anime? Maybe? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the character I made up a while ago. How long have you been drawing? Um, I've only seriously started drawing when I was like 11 because. My cousin tried introducing it to me. Um, so, yeah. All right, cool. Introduce yourself. No, we know who you are, but. Yeah, I'm Zoe, and I like to draw guinea pigs a lot. <laughs> okay. Nice. Introduce yourself, buddy. I'm Jacob, and I draw Pokemon. Sweet. And robots. Is that a new book, a new sketchbook? Mm -hmm. Where you got in there? Just give us a shot of what you, what you do, where you are. Oh, dragons. Nice. Well, nice. I have several friends that draw dragons. They're like really awesome. I have, nice. like, I have a Japanese friend that draw like the best manga I've ever seen. Yeah. That's like out That's like a game. Mm. Awesome. Introduce yourself, buddy. Speed up. This is Yosef. Hey, Yosef. Who do you like to draw, man? Dragons. Dragons? Alright, alright. And animals. Alright, cool. Do you like to mix them together? Like half dragon, half animal? No? Okay. <laughs> I once drew an emerald scale bull dragon. You have it with you? No. Oh. I'm Vanessa, um, and I just want to do this with my kid. Nice. I'm Maya, and I like drawing. You got it? And manga. Alright. Sometimes pastels and stuff. Okay, so you like the color and things like that. Sometimes, yeah. Nice, nice. Last semester we had a, a young lady here. She loved, actually she did most of her drawings with, with paint. Wow. And she just jumped right into it. She had, she had really nice, nice paintings. Very nice. If you feel like painting as such, just jump right in. Just start going right in. This, this class doesn't really have like a curriculum or anything like that. We're yeah. pretty much wide open, and uh, you just run with whatever it is that you that you want to do. If you have any questions about anything, any tight spots, can you ask me? And I'll help you out. But we all work together when we do that. Okay. And Lydia, you know, she's been drawing for a, a long period of time. She has a different type of approach, different than mine. That some of the kids may understand more than the way that I would do. So we we all work together. Okay. You know, as, as, a, as a team. Good, buddy. Alex and I like to draw just 
regular fighting season anime. Cool. Did you work out a little bit more in that comic book character? No, but for the um, historical fiction book that I was writing, I made the characters. Okay. I wasn't able to get in contact with you, but I've been asking everybody for this is this stuff. Um, have your character in full color. Because this semester I'm going to color everybody's character and everything. Okay. Right. Um, I'm Lydia. Uh, I've been doing for, I guess, pretty much a lot of my life. And I pretty much draw everything on this kind of paper. Because I'm usually bored during his history class, so. Use zone, right? Same here. Ooh, yeah, school is I get bored in math a lot. And then I get in trouble a lot. I get in trouble a lot when I do that. Do not encourage my daughter to do this. Hey, doing's a good thing of creativity. That's why I started drawing random doodles. Of, it's cool, right? Random doodles during my free time. See, now this, I mean, this right here. Same here. Are you asking about the, the anime? Yeah. Even though these are set up for comic book, you see how she's like drawing her characters, different expressions and all that kind of stuff. Right. right. She's That's pretty much got them scaled out, you know. This is the anime approach. Okay. But comic That's books are no different in anime because you're going to be using all these expressions anyways to express them in these you know, different frames and stuff. So it's sort of both. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? What's up, Gia? I saw your mom has sheets, did she tell you? Yeah? Okay, you're next. Gaya, you can come on over and you grab your chair. Alright, I'm going to go for it. Okay, we're going to keep it. I have an idea. Why don't this class get a deviant heart page? No, I already have a deviant heart page. Well, we got a YouTube page, but it, yeah, who else? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll find that out in a few seconds. Good idea. All right, you're next, man. Uh, I like drawing random figures from video games. And um, I draw like random people. Did you say you drew like baby dolls? Like I remember. Yeah. When I saw you like some baby I draw, dolls. I draw um, a special type of art. Um, these I call voodoo dolls because of their big eyes, and um, I like making out adventures on the internet about them. If you have a DSI and do flip note to Tenno, you can find my page. We're going to talk about this in a few seconds. Matter of fact, we'll talk about it right now. We got, let me show you guys something here. <laughs> These characters. Everybody. It's mini Sora. Actually, it's Roxy's right here. Everybody's, everybody's got ideas and stuff. Everybody's got oh, yeah, some different, different approaches towards drawing and, stuff and different styles. And all this stuff is good stuff. Okay. We were going over copyright. We still haven't finished it, but we're going to pick it up later on in this semester about copyright and such. And um, we're working on a comic book. And I'm going to go into that a little As bit. As a class? Or? Yes, yes. Those, those are some of the characters that you see right there. Each one of these guys' characters. Originally yes. designed characters. And uh, part of the process of, of publishing this comic book, everyone's going to have their share of copyright so that therefore their characters are protected in this thing here. Whether it's on the market for sale or just out the shelf when I go to comic book conventions and things like that. It's just, it's just a good idea because these are really, really good characters. All you've got, all these kids, they have really excellent, uh, very well thought out ideas. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it's just something I think that's, that's important. For Even at this stage here, this is really great stuff. Thanks. Okay. Eleven years old. You see? Amazing. 
amazing. everybody for introducing yourself. Everybody gets a sense of who each other are. We're all here for the same purpose. We all love to draw and illustrate and things like that. Let me show you uh, what we're working on. This is a project that we started last semester. And each one of these characters belongs to someone in this room. His character. Hold your character. Let everybody take a peek at what, you, what your character looks like. Turn around so everybody can see. Can you see that his character is right here? <clears throat> this is his guy. Today, everybody's going to be giving me the colors of their characters so that I can go home, scan this in, and I can you know, color the character. Yeah, yeah, here's your character right here. Me and your mom was talking about that, too, when I saw her sheets. Where's that? Excellent job. This is Alex's character right here. Do you have the, uh, the original? Um, Where's the original? Yep. Jamar is still working on his character. And if you want to be a part of this, Okay. You can show me which character you want in here. I will illustrate your character, and I will add him to the story. Now, we have one other girl who's here, not here right now. But she's, gonna be, she's taking a photography class, and um, she's helping me to write the story. You know, we chat all the time on Facebook and things like that. She's very interested in it. As a matter of fact, here's her character with the violin down below. So we're trying to figure out how these characters are going to interact with each other. You have complete control over your character and your character mentality, personality. Uh, you, you also have something to do with the storytelling. You can just write a little something in terms of what you think the character should be doing. And then she'll take it and she'll pick it up from there and make sure that everything's is seamless, you know, how the, uh, how, the, how the story unfolds. And, and it's trying to stay as true to your character as possible. Okay? So if you want to be a part of this project, this project will be published. Okay? Your character will be seen and it'll, it'll also be in my magazine. I have a small publication that I can put out. And um, I talked about all the students in the classes, there are work and things that we're doing. Yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> nice. And uh, this is going to be a very fun project. And we'll just see where it goes. You know, we can start off with like a 25 page. If it's really good, we can continue it on every semester. You know, turn it into something big. Have fun with it on, on uh, Facebook. Oh my God. I can't wait. Once, it, gonna once it's done, oh are we going to be able to get our own copy of it? Will we, get awesome, a free right? Will we get a free copy of it when it's done? I might get a digital download or something like that. Yay. But my thing is also, is that what I would like to do, <clears throat> I'm talking to the Art Association about it, is I'd like to, um, if possible, I'd like to have you guys come to the New York City Comic Con Convention okay, in New York City in October. I've always wanted to go to Comic Con. Yeah, but the thing is that you'll be behind the booth with me for a short period of time. Maybe do a little signing or something like that, and uh, you know, stuff like that. Now you got 150,000 people running around, so that's a lot of exposure. It's a lot of people. So We're gonna celeb. Yes. Yay! I'm a celebrity now. So yes. Talk to your parents. Talk to your parents and see if you guys can uh, join me down in New York City Comic Con. Um, I think we had talked about that a little while ago. We've been planning. always wanted to go to, to New York and Comic Con. Yes, I haven't been to New York in Park. No. I went last year. Three times. You know, but I really, I've been there like three times. I've been there too many. It's a great place. But only person who lives there. Lindsay already, it sounds to me like Lindsay's going to be there. You know, she's already working, working things out. She wants to come down and hang out and, and things like that. And I'll see if I can get, and I think I can have at least like six people.
Comic Con is in until October. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah. That's almost six months from now. Really? So. I could probably. That's your present. Uh, Julian's, I could probably get out as long as I like, write about it or something. Yeah. To get out from high school, well, or to get out that. of it, you have to like write about every day. Okay, that's cool. I thought, wasn't Comic Con over the weekend though? Or? Yeah, it is. It's the four day weekend. It's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, something like that. And usually the first day is just for the publishers. So you have at least about three days. So you can choose from. Again, Here's a comic book. Or at least the lower level. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Like start over a week. Here's a comic book from a publisher that I'm doing an article on in my magazine. He sent me a copy of this here. He may be coming by the booth to do a